Welcome back to Fox and Robin recording. It's a new year and a new video. So let's go check it out. So now we're back here. We've got our, uh, our logic session open um, and I wanna show you what inspired me based off of this session here. So um, down below we have a loop here. That's this bottom track here that's selected. It's an eight track, it says eight track tape electric piano. And that's what it is. And then I just looped, basically looped it. I don't know how many bars. I just looped it to kind of get me something to play with here. So anyways, um, as you can see, I'll hide my drums here. You can see it a little bit better at the top here. Um, we've got a bass guitar that we have recorded based off of this loop here. Now we just grabbed the bass off the wall and started playing with it. And that's kind of what we got. So I'm going to play it here. I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. So that's a four bar section of this little eight track loop that we got going from uh, Logic. It's just a Logic loop, we threw it in here and we thought it would be great to like, what inspires us off that. So I grabbed the bass and I started just playing and that's kind of what came up with it. Um, it's something that came from Logic um, and it's just kind of inspired us to write this bass loop. Now we might add drums to this loop, we might expand it, we might do more. And this is kind of a series we're doing. so. Um, look out for that, but as we kind of expand upon this loop, you could add drums, you could add whatever inspires you, and that's kind of what's great about loops, is you can throw them in, and you can basically write off of a loop. You can throw in a bunch of loops and kind of create a little riff, and then expand upon that with your own stylings and stuff, and then you can cut them up, trim them, do whatever you want to make it fit um, what you've recorded or what the bass line's doing or what the drums are doing or what the, the loop's doing. You can do so many things with it. So we thought we'd just kind of show you that that's what we're doing now with it. Um, and it's just kind of interesting. It's just a little interesting thing. I'll kind of keep playing here. Okay, now I could go into this bass track here and I could add I could add some effects to it. I could go and I could add in something from our universal audio here. Maybe we'll add this classic um, SVTR in here and then we can kind of maybe isolate the bass and it kind of maybe draw the volume up, go into the effects rack. Yep, that was too much. Maybe a little, bring the power soak back. And then you kind of got this kind of interesting thing going on here. Bring the loop up. Now maybe I don't want quite so much overdrive. So anyways, you can kind of get a little bit more roomy sound here to our loop and kind of change how we sounded in the beginning with a little bit of overdrive and a little bit more delay on the tracks. So um, that's kind of what is what the tongue tied today. That's basically what has been uh, driving our inspiration lately is just by taking Apple loops, throwing them into logic and then maybe grabbing an instrument or two and kind of playing with it, grab the keyboard throw the keyboard on the desk, maybe play a quick little beat with the pads or, or another little riff off of another instrument, 
or add strings or so it's just a very creative way of us doing stuff and as we do these videos we're gonna hopefully find some more stuff to do like this so um as it ends today's video we want to say thank you to everybody who's liked and subscribed and you know what don't forget to and we'll see you next time